and welcome to another episode of Dream Home Cooking. I have a delicious menu today. I'm going to show you guys how I make my shrimp and grits recipe, which is out of this world. I'm going to serve it with um, sauteed asparagus, and then I have an Italian salad with a homemade creamy Italian dressing that is delicious and so simple to make. Then I have a butter pecan pound cake that is out of this world and it's so simple you're not going to believe it and we're doing something really different instead of putting icing on the cake we're going to put it in the cake and it makes it really moist and um, it's a box cake mix and carton icing but it's delicious so we're going to get started with that because it takes about 50 minutes for it to cook so the first thing i'm going to do of course is this is just a box cake mix butter pecan i'm just going to dump all that in this bowl and then we're just gonna add all of our wet ingredients. I have a cup of water, and then a cup of vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna partially mix that up before I add my four eggs and the icing. Okay, now I'm gonna add the eggs to it. And then you wanna mix this for about two to three minutes. You wanna always make sure your cake mixes are mixed well with the mixer because they'll be crumbly when they come out. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, so that's mixed well. Now I'm gonna add, this is just a can of the coconut pecan icing, already made up. And you may wanna get a butter knife and get it out of there. It's a little stiff. Okay, I've got all that icing in there. I don't wanna miss any of this goodness. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix it for just a few, about a minute. All right, this is all mixed up well, and now it's time to pour it into the bunt pan. And you see how easy that was. And this is something else I love too. I think I've used it before on the show, but it's Pam baking. So it basically shoots flour out of here. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but you just wanna make sure you get this, even though this is a nonstick pan, I always coat it real well. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this into the bunt pan. Okay. Now I like to take it and just, I'll get that off of there, tap it just a little bit, get all the bubbles out. And now I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 50 to 60 minutes. You wanna watch it that last 10 minutes, make sure it doesn't brown too much and do the little cake test on it. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and then I'm gonna get started on my shrimp and grits. And the first thing I did was melted a stick of butter into this saucepan. It's actually been um, on medium high melting. Now I'm going to add to this melted butter, I have two ribs of celery, a bunch of green onions, one white onion, and about three tablespoons of parsley. I'm gonna add that to the melted butter. I have to do that with my hands. And then I'm just gonna saute these veggies in the butter for about eight minutes until they become really, really soft. And then I'll add my fresh minced garlic. You don't wanna put the minced garlic in there just yet because it'll burn and have a bitter taste. If you guys, those of you who have my cookbook might recognize this recipe. This is actually under shrimp etouffee in my cookbook. However, I started serving grits under it instead of rice or pasta, and it's wonderful. And I'm gonna show you guys how you cook the grits to flavor them to where they're very savory with some whipping cream and chicken broth. And it just really, these two flavors together are absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna let these saute for about eight minutes on high. All right, so the veggies, it's been about eight minutes, so you can see they're nice and soft. And now I'm gonna add the three to four cloves of fresh garlic that I chopped real fine. This smells wonderful. And I'm just gonna saute that garlic for about a minute, and then I'm gonna add my liquid ingredients and my se rest of the seasonings. And I tell you, for as simple as, as this dish is, it is out of this world. Make it for your family, you'll impress them. It's a wonderful meal to serve to guests if you have coming over for dinner. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn this heat all the way down and then I'm gonna start adding the wet ingredients. This is, believe it or not, a can of cream of shrimp soup. You wanna put two of those in here. Just gives it a really nice flavor. Not a fishy flavor at all. 
I am not a fishy flavor kind of girl, so I would not use this if it were fishy, I promise. All right, so that is in there. And then, let's see, I'm gonna do my tomato sauce. This is a small can of tomato sauce. I'm gonna add that to it. Then I'm gonna do my dry seasonings. I'm gonna add about a, about a tablespoon. And this is one of those dishes where you just have to cook and stir and taste to what your preference is. I like my things spicy. I know I've said that before. I'm a Louisiana girl, so give me the spice. And then I've got, of course, my onion powder, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of that. Garlic powder, onion powder, and then salt and pepper a teaspoon to a tablespoon, whatever your preference is. All right, so you want to stir these, the soup and the tomato sauce and the dry seasonings together. And then I have a few more liquid ingredients to add. I've got a cup of water and then a cup of whole milk. And this just gives it that rich flavor. Okay, so I've got everything that needs to be in here, in here, except for the shrimp, and then of course I'm gonna thicken it a little bit later. This is a pound and a half of peeled shrimp. You just wanna dump them in there. And then after I do that, I'm just gonna put the lid on, let it simmer on real low for about 20 minutes. And then when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to make the grits in my homemade creamy Italian dressing. At Quality Plus, our motto is don't call three, call me. Because where else can you find North Alabama's finest craftsmen who can handle all of your residential roofing, drywall, and painting needs? At Quality Plus, all work is 100% guaranteed. And no job is too big or too small, whether it's new construction or remodeling. So for your roofing, drywall, and painting needs, don't call three, call me. At Quality Plus Production, 256-990-7578. So today we're out at Overland Cove, and Overland Cove is our town home and garden home community. It is perfect for the, the, the single parent, the young professional, or even the empty nester. So what makes Overland Cove so appealing to so many people is it's truly a carefree, maintenance-free style of living. Your lawn care is taken care of for you. Uh, you don't have to worry about cutting the grass. You can throw away your lawn mower, uh, but then you have home ownership. Um, this is a very, very private community and everything is landscaped like you would live in a resort. So I've got another home over here I want to show you. I want to show you three different versions, a loft version, a semi-loft version, and then also a traditional version. So come on, let's take a look. So the home that you're in right now is our semi-loft version, and I, I really love it. It's traditional, but it has a little bit of a loft flair just because we've added some brick. Now one thing that these homes will feature is they live so much bigger than what the actual square footage is. The, the homes in here are 1,200 to 1,800 square feet, but we've added big, huge vaulted ceilings. We've added plant ledges just to really open up the feel of these particular homes. We've also come in and we've added some brick uh, also in the kitchen. But in this, in the semi-loft version, you're also getting the updated hardware, the updated finishes on the cabinets, and then also the glass uh, ceramic tile backsplash. So I, I love this version. If you don't wanna go with the full uh, exposed beams, then you can go with the semi-loft version. Now let's take a quick look at the traditional version, and it's our fully furnished model. So you'll see what the homes look like and what they live like with furniture in them. So let's go look at that. Now this is our traditional version. And as you can see, we have uh, put furniture in here, and uh, this has always been a successful uh, product for us. So this plan has several different versions. Some of our townhomes we can modify to where you can use this as a, a formal dining room. You do have your breakfast room over here, but also you could use it basically just as a little study. So this is kind of what we call a flex room. So the kitchen, 
Uh, we've gone with a little bit more of our traditional cabinetry. This is a brand new floor plan that we've just developed and uh, it is getting a lot of great responses. Lives big, it lives like a home. And that's what's so great about this particular home. So let's go look at our Urban Loft series. And I was inspired by this because my daughter and I went to New York City last year. So my daughter and I, we rented a apartment. Well, when we got there and showed up, it was a loft apartment. And I'm like, man, this apartment is so neat. It had a lot of uh, a brick on the inside of it, brick wall. It had beautiful hardwood floors throughout and it had exposed beams and, and uh, exposed ductwork. And so really that got me thinking about, man, what an opportunity in order to be able to bring this back to Huntsville and do a loft townhome series. So we have just completed our brand new model home out at Overland Cove, and this version is the loft series. It'll feature the exposed trusses, it'll feature the, uh, the exposed ductwork, uh, the brick accent walls in the uh, interior of it, the, uh, the honed hardwood floors throughout, and it just gives it such a really, really uh, urban look, and it is perfect for the, the singles, single parents, or the young professionals. So if you truly want to look at the latest and greatest for the Huntsville market, come out and look at our urban loft designs at Overland Cove. In choosing a contractor in today's market, you know, finding someone that is going to take care of you and make sure that you're happy with their product, with the quality, it's not an easy task today. The most important thing to me is doing what you say you can do, taking care of the customer, installing a, a, a product that is superior. My motto is call the lady with a team you can trust, and I feel confident that we are a team that you can trust. Okay, we're back and I've got the butter pecan cake in the oven. It smells delicious. I've got the shrimp mixture simmering in the back. I'm getting ready to show you guys how I do the grits. I'm going to saute some asparagus, but before I start on my asparagus, I want to um, show you guys the liquid ingredients for the grits. Okay, so what you want to do is I have back here, I have a cup and a third of grits. So to that, I need five and one third cups of liquid. Instead of using plain old water, here's what kicks it up. I'm gonna do a mixture of whipping cream, just regular, not heavy. I'm just gonna pour that in there. And it's not quite equal parts. It's about um, this container plus chicken broth to equal the five and one third cups. And then we may be a little shy, and if that's the case, we're just gonna add the rest water. Okay, so it's just a little bit shy of five and a third cups. So I'm just gonna add this to it. This really changes the flavor and the texture of the grits, and that's what makes it go so well with the shrimp sauce. So what I wanna do is pour it into this big saucepan. And then this is going to have to come up to a boil, but not a rolling boil. This is where you really want to pay attention, not answer the phone, the door if it rings, because this can just like that overflow and make a mess on your stove. So just watch it. I'm going to start out kind of high, and then when I see it kind of start to bubble, right before it comes to a rolling boil, then I'll turn it down and I'll start gradually adding my grits. I'm going to go ahead and add a half a stick of butter in here makes it rich and if you don't want to put the butter you don't have to and you don't have to season these grits a lot because you don't want to take away from the flavor of the shrimp sauce that you're going to put on top of the grits but I do add a little salt about a teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to do about a teaspoon of pepper and then I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder just for a little garlicky taste Stir that up and then I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to watch it closely while I'm working on my asparagus. All right, so I just washed these, but I kept one rubber band around it 
and that way it just makes it easier to cut. You want to cut these ends off. You can snap them or I just go ahead and cut them because I'm going to be cutting these stalks into bite-sized pieces. Sometimes I like to roast the asparagus in the oven and then other times I like to saute them on the stove, which is what I'm going to do today. So I've got that rubber band still around there and then I'm going to cut them to about a half inch pieces. They tend to start flying. All right, so basically just three times. Okay, so these are cut into the bite-sized pieces. Now, what I wanna do before I put the asparagus into the pan, I have a tablespoon of olive oil that I've heated. Now I'm gonna throw four or five fresh garlic pods into the garlic, and I'm just gonna let them take a little bath in there for a minute, just to infuse that oil to give it a nice garlicky flavor. But before I put the asparagus in there, I'll remove the garlic. So this just takes about two minutes. Okay, so I took the garlic pods out and you can see they're not, they're real dark, not quite burned, because that will make it bitter. But I just let them sit in there for about two minutes and I kept kind of stirring and sauteing it. Now I'm ready to add the asparagus. Then I'm just gonna add some pepper and salt. And that's all the seasonings that I'm gonna use. Just real simple. And we like our asparagus kind of crunchy. If you want to cook them longer, you can, but all this takes is about three to four minutes sauteing them. And it keeps a pretty green color too, if you don't cook them too, too long. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these sit here for a minute. My uh, cream and broth is boiling for the grits, so I'm gonna go ahead and slowly add the grits to this. And I caught it right before it went to a real heavy boil. So now, in order to keep it from being lumpy, just kind of gradually, slowly let those grits fall in there and just continue to stir as they fall into the liquid. These are quick cooking grits, so it'll just take a few minutes for it to thicken up. And even though we're probably about 30 minutes away from eating, what I do is just turn it on real low or even turn the grits off. And then if they tend to get a little thicker, more thick than you want them, just add a little more water, a little more liquid to it, and it'll be fine. Okay, so when we come back, I'm going to get started on my homemade dressing with the Italian salad, and I'm going to take the cake out of the oven, and then Mike will be popping in here anytime, I'm sure, to taste all this good food. Want to create something extraordinary? Create perfection. Our lifestyle appliances make it easy. GE Monogram Bob Wallace Appliance and you, when only the best will do. Since 1983, individuals and businesses in Alabama have relied on Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel for their legal representation. Our experienced attorneys offer high quality legal counsel in commercial law, real estate, and personal injury litigation. So if you need an attorney, hire the best attorney you can. Call the experienced North Alabama attorneys of Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel to arrange your initial consultation because we're dedicated to setting the standard for legal services. There's something about carpet that gives a room a warm, soft feeling. Our carpet also gives you something else, peace of mind. All of our exclusive carpet brands are made in the USA and come with a lifetime warranty. So feel free to live your life exactly the way you want. Get your soft carpet from the flooring experts at Woldy Flooring. Visit our new showroom in Madison, locally owned since 2002. Next, I'm gonna make my homemade salad dressing. This is a creamy Italian dressing and it's delicious um, and real, real simple. You wanna take a half a cup of mayo and just an FYI, I love Hellman's. I use that all the time. Hellman's or Blue Plate, those are my favorite. So you're gonna do a half a cup of mayonnaise and I'm doing it in this big measuring cup because I'm gonna pour it into my little dressing container there. But what you wanna do is take your whisk and I have three tablespoons of whole milk. 
that I'm gonna whisk into here. And remember, this is a creamy white Italian dressing. And then I have a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, which gives it a nice, nice flavor. I have three cloves of fresh garlic that I just roughly chopped. That really adds a nice flavor to it. Then I've got about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then a half a teaspoon, teaspoon, of, I like a lot of pepper, so you can put as much pepper as you want. And then a tablespoon of sugar, gives a little bit of sweetness. And then about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna whisk that. I just wanna make sure all those flavors are mixed together. So after I get all that mixed up, I like to go ahead and just pour it into my little salad dressing container. All right, and I wanna get all that goodness in there. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it sit a minute. Before I do that, I wanna tell you guys about our featured community today. It's Overland Cove, and I know we've talked about it before, but we have a brand new model out there that has been um, decorated, of course, by my mom, who does such a fantastic job. It's our Urban Loft series, and I'm telling you, it is the hottest thing going right now in this area for maintenance-free living, and, and it's any, it's young, old, and everyone in between. It's a great mixed market out there. It's a great location right off of Indian Creek Road, very, very near 565, I-565, great school systems. I would encourage you guys to go out there. It's open seven days a week, the model home, and there is an agent out there always on duty, and you'll have to take a look at this beautiful, beautiful townhome. Okay, so the dressing is done. And I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge until we're ready. And so what I wanna do is show you guys, because I failed to put my little two tablespoons of flour in the beginning, I had to come up with another thickening agent because you want this sauce to be a little thicker when you put it over the grits. So what you can do when you wanna thicken something, I've got a quarter cup of water, and then I'm just gonna take two heaping teaspoons of cornstarch. And it, it dissolves very, very easily into the water. Never put straight cornstarch into your dish because it will be lumpy and not very good. You always wanna add it to the water. All right, so that's mixed and dissolved. And now I'm just gonna pour, and it'll lighten it up in color a little bit, but that's okay. And I actually have this burner off. I'm turning it back on to low. So this is just gonna simmer and thicken up a little bit. And when we come back, Mike will be here and we will show you all of these finished dishes and give them a taste. My father started this business in 1977. The people that work for us is part of what sets us apart. All of our employees have experience. All of our plumbers have been with us for 10 years or greater. Our motto at Dean and Son is quality and service. We're gonna do quality work. We don't leave people hanging. We're there when we're supposed to be. We're done when we're supposed to be. Living up to what you sell and service them after they pay you, that's where your integrity in the plumbing business comes. Dean and Son Plumbing Company. Call today at 518-9780. I had the best dream last night. We were building a new house or remodeling, and I found the most gorgeous tile. Tumbled noche for the master bath, Venetian gold granite for the kitchen, and a beautiful custom backsplash. And while shopping, I ran into Jean-Luc. So, you're heading to Jenkins Brick and Tile today? Yeah. I'll go with you. Jenkins Brick and Tile, Madison Boulevard in Madison. We'll show you the tile of your dreams. When we came to looking for a cabinet company and a uh, manufacturer to use, and with Wellborn being the selection, Wellborn has a good foundation within the company and the folks that run their company. And when you have a good foundation, things typically follow suit with that and things will, will stay steady. Their values, I feel like are on a solid foundation. I feel like their true intent is to build a product that will be a lasting product. And you're going to love what you see. Wellborn Cabinets, the essence of cabinetry at Woodland Homes of Huntsville.
Okay, we're back, and guess who's here? Yes, and I <laughs> hey, am honey. starving. Well, so. good. Hey, this is some good stuff today. My Cajun blood came out. It's <laughs> shrimp and grits. Hey, and, I love uh, that Cajun blood. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, that looks well, great. Thank you. And look, this is a little, um, this is the salad. I didn't really put it together on camera, but I added, of course, um, romaine lettuce and tomatoes, cucumber, and the little pepperoncinis that are um, sliced that you can get. And then the big mm. secret, mm -mm -mm. these are those, our new favorite things. Yeah, I, that's the first time I've had those. Those are delicious. Yeah, it, it's kind of like the durkies that you could buy in a can, but these are 10 steps above, wouldn't you say? A free and, promotion. <laughs> but instead and that's of what they are. Ones, these crispy onions are fantastic on this salad with that creamy Italian dressing. So, yeah, so what? Just real you want to taste yeah, it? Yeah, real quick. Looks good. I might have to. Mmm, 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 mmm. Is it good? Fantastic. Good. I want to try it too. Yeah, I've been fantastic. smelling it all morning long. <clears throat> all your stuff is good, sweetheart. Mm. I guess that's mm. why everybody loves Thank all you. your recipes and loves your show oh, so much. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. I love to share my recipes. Yeah. So, so Overland Cove. Yeah. Is been out there. Been fire. out there this morning. You know. Our loft series that we started last year mm -hmm. has really taken off. And yeah. one of the things that we uh, have just completed is our new model home. Mm -hmm. And if our viewers have not seen our loft versions of our townhomes, they are absolutely beautiful. We had a couple that we had built and they sold just like right. that. So I wanted to get to the next building so that we could actually have a model. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, fully furnished a model that is absolutely gorgeous and you know uh, Overland Cove is just a good blended community and the clientele out there that we're attracting are people who are interested in carefree and maintenance free just like your parents exactly. you know they, yeah. they've sold their big house and now they're living in a town home oh, yeah. and I think she told you just yesterday what she said I don't think your dad and I could ever go back to a house just because this carefree style of living that right. we've been exposed to is unbelievable and it we don't want to go back yeah so so it's a great community for uh, young professionals um, for um, singles. It's a great, it's young, medium, and old. It, it is. I mean, it, a great it, it really is. For someone who is just getting started that may be renting, you, with interest rates at three and a quarter percent today is what yeah. I can get it for today. It is hundreds of dollars cheaper than what you would pay currently it's, for rent. It's almost sinful to rent. <laughs> it, it, it really is. And not only that, we have programs to where we can get 100% financing as well. So for those of, uh, who are renting, 100% financing, interest rates less than what you're paying for rent. Um, the payment's going to be a lot less than what you're yeah, paying for and, rent. And to have just a neat, neat place mm -hmm. to live. But for, uh, for information on Melissa's Mills, yeah, you can log on to our website at woodlandhomes.com. Also, friend us on Facebook, our Dream Home Cooking page, and our Woodland Homes of Huntsville page. And a big shout out, of course, to our sponsors who make a, uh, this show possible yeah, for us to absolutely. have. So we appreciate them. Yep. And as far as new home information, you can give us a call at 830-9000. Uh, or just come out and visit any one of our communities. Uh, it's a great time to invest. Interest rates are super, super low. So y'all come see us. Baby, I'm hungry. Me let's too. Let's, 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 let's cut the cake. Let's, uh, well, let's have dinner first. Okay. <laughs>